Now let's kick off with some news from Wall Street. Some major news from Wall Street. Apple just became the first American public company to reach 1 trillion in value. 1 trillion dollars. That's it people. Apple has officially won capitalism. In today's sports news, Federer Magic. Roger Federer became the most successful player in Hopman Cup history when he led Switzerland to a 2-1 win in an enthralling final of the mixed teams tournament in Perth. In international news, Trump's wall not happening. Who says that? A Mexican psychic. His name? Antonio Vasquez, better known as Grand Warlock. In his annual predictions, he says, Trump's wall will not happen. Not now, not ever. Let's see whether this comes true. And finally, for some funny news. Video games are getting harder and harder. But thankfully, parents are getting insane. The Wall Street Journal reports parents are hiring coaches to tutor their children in the popular combat survival video game, Fortnite. Parents say they want to improve their kids' skills for prize money, college scholarships, or bragging rights. Crazy, right? You know, in all honesty, I feel that the more overbearing parents become about playing video games, the more their children are going to rebel. The most popular video game right now is Fortnite. And why not? It's got everything great in it. Playing with your friends, then killing your friends, and dancing over their dead bodies. But like everything popular nowadays, it has come up with the issues that many people blame it for their problems. The popular video game Fortnite now has more than 200 million registered players worldwide. Problem is, experts say it's incredibly addicting. Behavioral health experts have seen an increase in young adults seeking treatment for their addiction to video games. In fact, earlier this year, the World Health Organization recognized gaming disorder as a diagnosable condition. A British behavioral specialist says Fortnite addiction is like heroin. Okay, Fortnite is not like drugs, okay? There's no rock star in the 80s who died out of Fortnite or video games. Elvis didn't pass on the toilet seat, his veins full of Pac-Man. But fine, the so-called specialists say it's an addiction. And now, innocent kids of this world are paying the price. Some parents are so worried their kids are spending so much time playing the popular game, they're taking a drastic step and sending their kids to video game rehab. Well, this year, the drug of choice, as we call it, is Fortnite. Michael Jacobus runs Reset Summer Camp, a four-week program that focuses on teen tech addiction. When kids are at your camp, is it like a detox? Yes, absolutely. With no devices for a whole month, the camp focuses on therapy and teaching life skills like cooking and laundry. <laughs> okay, cooking and laundry is not rehab. It's what makes you play want to play video games in the first place. I mean, no kid has ever been like, washing my clothes is so fun, I'll never play video games again. And seriously, the blame circle still continues. It's not just kids it's affecting, it's much more serious. Online UK Divorce Service says 200 divorce petitions cited Fortnite this year. That was the reason for the split. Put the controller down. Fortnite. Don't blame Fortnite for your shitty marriages. Well, you made your wife sit with you and watch you play Fortnite day after day. And you looked over one day and she wasn't there. Well, guess what, buddy? Where is she now? She is with me at my house playing Fortnite with me. Guys, Fortnite is harmless fun. In fact, the only place I would draw a line is to use Fortnite to train real killers. You can serve your country and play Fortnite? Well, the Stars and the Stripes newspaper says yes, the Army is forming a team of pro gamers to compete in tournaments as a recruitment tool. The plan is actually to have recruiters playing those games in their uniforms at tournaments to provoke questions about their jobs from the players. Well, this is a great idea. Until the middle of the war, the kids start dancing and get shot all over. Well, the only way the army should use Fortnite is to drop it on ISIS so that they start playing 20 hours a day. And we would have won the war on terror. And that's truly when we get to dance. 